Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude, and thank you for the sub if it's your first time here. And I know you already subbed because I could see in the future. Uh, in, in fact, I, I can see that for, I believe it's Christmas, Christmas time is coming. And you're, you're getting a Alinko DJ VX50 for Christmas from, and I can't tell if it's your wife or a child or, and, and I could see that their name has, uh, sounds like, sounds like their name has a vowel in it. All joking aside, regardless of what the circumstance might be, you may need to or want to perform a frequency modification or a frequency unlock on the Alinko DJ VX50. I'm not here to judge, and I, I know that there'll be plenty of people in the comments who make their own assumptions. I'm still going to show you how to do this frequency modification because I think it's very important to have documentation on as many radios as I can get my hands on. And so to get started, what are we going to need? Well, the first thing we need is a Windows 10 computer, or it probably could be Windows 8 or 7. I've tested it on Windows 10. Uh, alongside of that computer, you're going to need some special software, which I will link below. And you're going to need a programming cable, the ERW7 programming cable from Alinko. If you don't have one and you don't want to spend uh, money to get one, you can make your own. And if you check out my videos, my prior videos, I have a video on how to make a programming cable. And finally, you're going to need an Alinko DJ VX50. And it could be a European model, it could be a US model, and it could be any other model that they make of the DJ VX50. So to get started, I downloaded the software, which again is linked below. It's called uh, DJ-VX50 SetBand-Version 1.01. And I don't know the origin of this software, and I just want to give you a fair warning. I did do a virus scan on it, and everything seemed okay. And finally, I did just try to check the properties and see if there was any kind of information that might be useful to me. And I really didn't see anything. Regardless, we're going to extract this. And I use WinRAR, but you might use Windows Defender. Extraction is the same. Usually you could double click or right click and click extract or drag to your desktop. Now that you've extracted the file, we're going to go ahead and double click it, which is going to give us a prompt. And you probably can't see it on my screen, but it says, do you wish to allow access to this program to install? And I'm going to click yes. And then I have this uh, setup DJ VX50 set band. I can basically click next through all these options. This is showing where it's going to install the software. This is asking if I want a start menu folder, which I typically do. And then this is asking if I want to create a desktop. So I'll click next and then I'll click install. Installs pretty quick. And I'm going to leave this checked to launch the set band utility. Once the set band utility launches, it looks like this. And there's a couple things that we can make note of here. If you use the drop down menu, there's three options. It's one for the Asian countries being EX, one for the Americas, which is going to be the HT model. And then you see one for HE, which is the uh, European model. Now, if you select HE, you're not going to get the full band spread. But if you go to EX, you'll see that there's a larger band spread uh, that will be unlocking. Next up, we're going to need to go to the port section of this program to select the port that we're going to be using. And if you'll see here, I have three ports listed, but I might not know which port is the one I want to use for the programming cable. If that is the case, you'll go ahead and go into Device Manager. And in Device Manager, you'll find the port section and it drop the port section down. And you'll see multiple options. Mine happens to be USB to serial port because I build my own cable but yours might say something else like FTDI. So now that I know it's COM port 13, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna select it. And really the only other things to do here is to read the radio and it reads okay. And then to write the radio. But the problem is, is if I write the radio now and I open the Alinko software. And by the way, you'll see I ran it as administrator. That's because if you don't run it as administrator, there's some problems with the COM ports actually reading correctly. But anyway, when I open the program and I go to read everything, I could set the COM port, no problem. When I actually go to program and read the radio, that's when it's going to give me this error that I have a model error. So if you actually do upgrade the radio for the Mars mod, you're going to need to make sure that you have... Uh, the latest software for that country. For example, if you have the DJ VX50 uh, EX, you need to find the VX50 EX software. Could be a real big problem because uh, some of the stuff on Alinko's website is kind of hard to find. So anyway, at this point, I just go ahead and I'm setting this back to uh, typical American HT. 
that's how you do the Mars mod. Obviously, Alinko went the software route of doing things, meaning uh, instead of having to pop off a resistor or go onto the motherboard and change a jumper, all you got to do is use a cable and make the mod, and it's really easily reversible, so that is kind of nice. It was just really hard to find all the software, which I don't even know if we're supposed to have the software. I think this is like a dealer software. But regardless, now you have the mod, and if you should have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the links in the description to find where you can get the software from. Until next time, I'm Ham Radio Dude. Thanks for checking out the channel 73.